This episode of the Commoners of D&D is brought to you by Tiger Skull RPG. Tiger Skull RPG offers monthly 3D printable miniatures complete with 5e stats, digital illustrations, and loot cards. Everything you need for fully realized NPC encounters. Each month a new encounter is released and hero level patrons will receive the character in STL format and exclusive posts on the Tiger Skull Patreon, while patrons in the Legendary tier will receive the STL and all of the RPG material at the highest resolution for home printing. This includes the digital illustration, the character attributes and stat block, the loot cards, and the exclusive content on the Patreon. Tiger Skull RPG is creating true print and play collectibles so you can hop right into your RPG with the latest figure. Check it out at TigerSkullRPG.com and Patreon.com slash TigerSkullRPG where you can get started for as low as $1 a month. What's up everybody? You're listening to Satan Common. I'm AJ Cannon. I'm Seth Templin. Tyra Merle. Anthony Tate. Cameron West. Darren and the Ray Waddles. <laughs> We got a big crew. We got a huge crew. Got We're growing. Here. The, the gang's all here. Except Kyle. Yeah, except Kyle. He's bringing tacos later. He's not drunk tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he, he is bringing be. tacos. Yes. A party pack. All right. Okay. It's been Keep a minute it. since I've had Taco Bell. You, you missed out on your little catchphrase there. You didn't say it yet. Oh, yeah. Well, this see on this, we talk about it all, not just Dungeons & Dragons. Not just Dungeons & Dragons. We are not associated. I can't do nothing. We are not associated in any way with Taco Bell. No one said Taco <laughs> Bell. You oh, did he? Did. I did, yeah. We're also not associated with Dungeons & Dragons. I mean, that's Dungeons what he's bringing, right? <laughs> We're also not associated. <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons is a subsidiary of Wizards of This joke is getting too old. This joke is not funny anymore. Okay, so we're keeping it common, though, on this podcast. Yeah. So, <laughs> Seth, take it away about the campaign. Oh my gosh, this was this one. It was a I do nothing episode. This was a do nothing episode that absolutely threw me for a curveball because I was not expecting the info dump that happened. You Did didn't not, expect us to not, ask any not at this moment. Like, I don't know. Y'all you surprised thought that would happen later or something? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think I always thought Evelyn would be the one who would tell you guys this information, but just. Not this early. Not not uh, not on this day. Okay, so black cloaks. First of all, Tate missed the whole game. The whole game. Whole game. He Did was we supposed even to tell count. you any of this stuff. <clears throat> I yep. mean, kind of. Uh, I mean, you guys kind of bridged some of the gaps. Like, I heard there was important information about the king, and yeah, I've got it all in my notes here. We'll probably wind up talking about that at some point. Well, I mean, pretty much the king. No one knows where he came from. He just came to power. Yeah, he and just took showed up and started dunking on all the previous rulers right. and took over. During a war. Oh. Just came in, took over, appointed the the dukes and duchess. Well, and I think, uh, I think my dude's dad was already in power, and he just kind of nope. wound up. Oh, no. He wasn't? Nope. I could have sworn that you said he was. Nope. No, he, 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 was the one, he was the first one that made it through his uh, training uh, for, camp. Through the academy. That's right. That's right. He's just a general or something in one of the armies. So black cloaks are silent brothers because they have no tongue. They can't talk because when they go through Draxus's training thing, the academy. Yeah, the academy. They they uh, take their tongues out, except for exceptional. The, yeah, people. Which they, the only people so far is Duke Hornbeam, Duke Jike, and the and the Duchess. There has here. been other dukes. Uh, Hornbeam, being a dwarf, he's lived the whole time. Uh, the Duchess Elizabeth, she has lived the whole time, which she is human though, but she has lived the whole time. But uh, I can't wait to see how that was caused. Is she Duke, like a witch? Duke Jike is very recent. He's only been in power for about 15, 20 years now. Okay. My dude's like 50, so he probably like got the news when that first happened. Nope, this was 500 years ago. Wait, but you said Duke Jike. No, Duke Jike. So. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. But... Who was who was in power before Jai? Don't ask me that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make it up when it happens. I'll make it up when I need to. When you ask me in game, you'll, you'll ad lib it when, when when the time comes. <laughs> yeah. So Anthony, that's the hot take on. Oh, that's a pretty hot take. It is. It's a hot piece yeah. of take. I don't know how much I made up on the spot. I had a whole bunch kind of planned out, but I might have made up a few things. Actually, 
a part of me would love to write a fictional book. Like I would love. To, I'm reading so many books right now and yeah. listening to so many books. I would love to write. I'd just probably just be ripping them all off. But if I wrote a book, I'd want it to be, a, like I think it'd be about Solaris, about Evelyn, and about Quincy the Quincy first. Quincy the first. And that would just be pretty, go pretty cool. like their early time in the military to the fall of everything and see how it would go. But I don't think I would write it until after the campaign because I think I'd you give stuff away. Yeah, you give too much away. Do it. You gotta. I think that would be. Uh, I would. That's just like a, a pipe dream. I would like to one day do is write something. You should I mean, start on a manuscript. You know, just yeah, just start writing. Yeah, yeah, just why not? Get get mm-hmm. a plan, draft it out, and then hide it from all of us so yeah. we don't get spoilers. Yeah. Right. Just and make then, some notes. You know, make an outline. Yeah. So I'll save it on your computer because I might make you know, millions of dollars. Yeah. Okay, but okay, Tyrell though. Okay, They'll sell so. it to HBO. They'll have the <laughs> what were those dudes' names? <laughs> the that completely botched season eight. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, Don't what? remind us. Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. DB Weiss is that? Yeah, that, yeah, and David Benioff and DB Weiss. That was it. <laughs> those those two guys. Are they the same directors for the other seasons though? I mean, I'm not sure if they I mean, had to do I'm, as much yeah, writing. They, in they are, seasons, but that was the first time they material. got to do it by themselves. Oh, okay. Because they had no direction other yeah. than their own. Yeah. And there, there were so many continuity Turns out errors. they're not so creative as... Arya rides off on a white horse at the end of one episode. Next episode, she just shows up on foot somewhere like, what happened to the friggin' horse? Yeah. There's a Starbucks cup in there. Yeah, I was about to say the Starbucks <laughs> cup. Yeah, they left yeah, the Starbucks, Starbucks cup, cup just out on a table. And, and that, left a bottle of water behind a chair, just plainly in view. There was so there many mess up. Uh, sure really, that was the right. Yeah, there was also, also a truck. Much as it was just the director yes. didn't catch it. You could it. see a truck just out. Well, you could obviously drains. go in and like Photoshop that they crap didn't. out. They missed. It's it. just lazy. Yeah, it was just pure laziness. Season eight was of, that was the point of season eight. They were sick eight. of it. Lazy. I was tired of it. Was that the last season? Yeah, that was the last season. Which yeah. I'm, I'm gonna Ooh, at least defend the first half of it. Is decent, but then the ending it just did not go as what you would have expected. It's very sad. So I, he might give <laughs> Bran such badass powers and then didn't even hardly use no, them. No, I didn't use them. I I think that uh, we get to see him like watch the battle unfold as a bird. Hold on, George R. R. Martin's gonna kill kill it with his book because like if he ever so pissed about finishes it, it yeah. it's been like ten years. He's gonna finish. I think he's gonna die before. He yeah, he's gonna have a, heart a couple attack. books he it's has been to write. Ten years. And also, he's working on Elden Rings. Like, Lord yeah, he's got so many other projects too. Like. Yeah, and they're doing like two or three spinoffs that he's working with them on. Mm-hmm. Like, one I of want them, him to I think finish one of them it so bad. I just don't. I've, I've lost faith. Centered on the House of Targaryen way yeah. before. Yeah, there's a prequel, yeah. and there's also uh, whatever the after Ooh, sequel. Got finished. sequel. Robert yeah. just kind of. died before yeah. they got finished. Wow. Maybe not a direct sequel. Someone else mm-hmm. had to run the last ones. But anyways. No, I'm going to Tyrell because I wanted to ask him, Thren got that bow. I'm just wondering what, what's the plan. <laughs> really, I don't know what I was really thinking when I got the bow. He's sick of dying. <laughs> I just thought it would be like a, another way of using ranged weapons. Just something else that I can use on the side with yeah, spells. Like and since I'm proficient long with longbows as a high elf, I thought, hey, what the heck? Yeah. You know. I mean, that way you don't have to waste spell slots. You can shoot yeah. stuff from Well, I mean, I, I could fire fire bolts if I wanted to, you know. Mm-hmm. But, well, I mean, that's true. You could so light your... You could, damage, and you could light the arrow on It fire. has a higher low than the... But not a higher high. Yeah. Okay. Isn't a longbow? It's like 120 feet. Isn't it for like? I was just meaning damage. You're 60, getting your dexterity 60, bonus. 60, 120, I believe. Yeah. You're getting your no, dexterity no, no, bonus. No, 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 no. That's a short I'm bow. sorry. 120 to is it? 180, I think. Yeah, but a, a fire sure a fire bolt is just a straight D10 though, right? Yeah. There's no modifiers, so right. at least I'll, you got you can get you get your dex mods. So. so if you're all 10 with the fu- well, I don't know. Now I'd say the longbow's better. Than but anyway, anyway, the firebolt's going to get better as he levels up, and it'll become two D ten and stuff. Yeah. So it has a much yeah. Better. It'll be it'll outdo the bow easily. And it's, it, right now it does anyway. So, so more about what happened. Oh yeah, something else that that we learned in that info dump about the king. He like basically just banned religion. Like, oh yeah, that was a yeah, big thing. Like, like so that the gods would lose their power yeah. over over the world. So how do these gods work, Seth? Kind of just in that fashion right there. Like, they have to have so many people believing them that, the, like, to give them the power to be. 
that's why going to the only like religious believer here is Tate in game. 150 to 600. This, yeah. Yeah. 600? Yeah, 600's sure. insane. I'm sorry. But well, that's he's. Advantage, right? yeah, that's a all of. Unless all, you have sharp here. Okay. <laughs> all of his. Uh, his interactions with the deities up to this point has been in a graveyard. The deity that he has talked mm-hmm, to has been in a graveyard. We're going to find out that he like died and got brought back or something. Who? Tate. Hey, okay. Tate, his guy, Bob. Just the gods are dead and they're in the graveyard. They're not dead. Oh, wait. Well, they're lost. Almost dead. By Some the of them might gods. be dead. Yeah. She is in a, in a tomb. Can I talk about character development yeah. like future character development yeah i've asked before i I've don't know asked, if you were on here but like where do you want to take your character That's i've the... talked with tyrell about this last week when we went, when we went to go get the pizzas i mean judging by these interactions i don't think it would be a far stretch to choose from either life or grave domain Oh, yeah. If I go into, you know, when, oh, when I go into, into cleric? cleric. Oh, oh I, that's that exactly what I'm doing. He's always had the plan of going. Yeah, that is, that's going to be awesome. <clears throat> well, you could also do paladin if you wanted to. It'll be cleric. 100% cleric. cleric. Yeah. Um, just the nature of Buck, he's not... He doesn't want to smite people? Yeah, he's not, <laughs> he's not the type to go looking for a fight. Per se, it's not his personality. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that I, sometimes we don't do that. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Um, you'll have to give me some grace. That's what it. happens in a future episode that we've already recorded, but we can't talk about yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, he's more of, you know, he's more of the restrain yourself, you know. Until he sees that Stefan. I mean, until he sees the dude that burned down. <laughs> yeah, hey, I gotta, I gotta hear what all happened with that because I wasn't here for the melee. Uh, well, we can't, we can't do it on this podcast. podcast. Oh, I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it afterwards. We'll brief you. Um, did y'all enjoy the little mini games and yes. such? Yeah, I love those, mini those games. Fun. Yeah. Wish I could have been here for the the second part. I <laughs> we, I, we just kind of did it all again. Yeah. Anyway. There were, yeah. Just the bow and arrow one, I think. Once. Yeah, we did the we did the bow again. We spent so much again. That's next podcast, but we spent so much time all over again. Oh my goodness! I love fun. the fake names everyone came up with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No need. No need. But well, I was just, the reason might, I, we feel like I might. started off with that is because I was thinking, hmm, let's try to blend in, and not give our actual names out, because you know we don't know if we're actually wanted or not. And then everyone right. had like such so. blatantly fake names. <laughs> Well, as long as they don't know our real names, what does it matter? Always Kyle's Thumbledore. Thumbledore. Yeah. Thumbledore. I really, <laughs> I really wish that I had had like a, a really obviously fake name too. I, I should have gone with something like, uh, "My name is Hambone Fake Namington." <laughs> <laughs> what did you pick? What was it? It was like I, I flipped through the player's handbook while everyone else was thinking of fake names, and I just picked uh, like a male dwarf name oh, out okay. of the handbook. Yeah, yours kind of seemed real, but ours. yeah, like I didn't even have any hesitation. Well, I, I was Vincent. I was meta gaming a little and Vincent, already had one yeah. thought up. Some of them weren't bad. I would have said something like Tina or something, but because I just didn't care, it wasn't that big a deal to me. I just decided to play along with y'all and just like, yeah, they, they know y'all. It's like a little cool. comic relief moment. Yeah. I was thinking Fandal, and I was like, that sounds really familiar. I've what seen Fandalin different places. And all two it sounds last two elvish, weeks. almost kind of. It really yeah. does. It, it's it's actually that town from. Uh, Lost Minds of Fendelver. Yeah, Lost Minds yeah. of Fendelver. That's it. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, I saw that, and then I saw something on Instagram. Somebody had a character, or a, there was another town named Fandolin. Huh. It was, I think it was a character's name. What's well, a cool name. Yeah, I guess it just that's just a cool name, people think. It's getting it. around. What? It's getting around. It's yeah. the name. It's just going everywhere. I'll name my kid that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> if you give him that name, he is guaranteed to have magic powers. Uh, yeah. This game was the game that decided Kyle anyway. loved Dungeons and Dragons, wasn't it? Like, yeah, he it, fought, it clicked all it the clicked. Sudden. He understood, and he hasn't been back since. But he's coming back tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, that was just two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he 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 had a blast 
fighting arrest and oh my god dude oh that was hilarious too because we were like we just kind of agreed to spar and then he just throws his hammer just yeet yep. <laughs> and, then we, and then we just go at it in the middle like not even in the sparring hammer. just in our living I room I chuck my hammer that is, that is Rask's signature move is I'm gonna <laughs> chuck the hammer and you even did it well talking about another episode yeah I did but, yeah. I did it as I, Rask I chuck the oh man I chuck my hammer at it. Oh goodness! But yeah, yeah and, we and were just fought. still sitting in our chairs, and he just yeets it across the room at me, and then and then y'all on. just destroyed the whole place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept doing that. What was it, like? He thunder? did the fist of the four thunders mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. thunder wave. Thunder wave. Yeah, yeah. Thunder wave, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just freaking like sent all our furniture flying. <laughs> Says you can hear it. Like, the <laughs> flying backwards while he's sitting in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Buck was doing yeah. nothing, and he yeah, just Buck, kept. Buck's just chilling, watching it unfold, and all of a sudden, blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and about apparently. the time he gets back up, he does it again. <laughs> yeah, he it's the fourth thunder. Of course, it comes out in like a fifteen foot cube. Mm-hmm. There was Buck on the other end, on the receiving yeah. end. Evan Lynn just we, thinks y'all are just the funniest people. She is so interested by y'all, and she just didn't care. She is so interested in y'all. After doing that, that the tarot that card scene reading. for y'all, the tarot card reading, she's just. Oh yeah, I, was, I, I never have written that in my notes, but I have a picture of the the notes that you had written down on my phone somewhere, so I can still look at that for reference if need be. Seth, if I if Quincy trains with Thren enough, do I ever get anything for that? Maybe. Like, what do you want? I don't know. Like some basic spells or something. Uh, a Dex bonus would be nice, so I could get my AC up. <laughs> then probably not that. <laughs> Maybe plus one. Um, it would take a lot of training though. That's what a big... can I do to get my AC up I need something enchanted Seth well buy it work me something up enchanted y'all just got I don't what want a shield what's unarmored defense um, what does that take into your account your constitution and your uh, dexterity no what's that's it? a monk thing no it's no. a no, barbarian, it's a barbarian thing. thing that yeah. is absolutely you well then 100%. I already oh yeah I already have it though monks have wisdom you and have, dexterity you have unarmored defense which means if you put... You're not wearing no, armor. It's un- right? Monk has unarmored movement. The barbarians no, can just they like both have unarmored. The they both have unarmored. Nine. It's just a different number. Ooh, I'm about to choke him out. Do you have... Me? Are you yeah. wearing armor? No. Okay. It's Yeah, it's it's dex and con plus, plus 10. Plus 10. But my AC is still only 15. He has a very low dex or a very low strength because he was always planning on dex going bard. plus con. Okay. Well, I rolled crap numbers. My only good number is charisma. Yeah, because okay. I got a and plus Because four. I was the actor background. Well, at least you don't have a okay. negative. Yeah, at least so, I have negative strength. I so basically, strength. Just, I have negative strength. What, do you know what your your numbers are, what your stats are for your dex yeah. and con? Are they both even numbers? Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, dex is 15. Con is... Okay, if it was 15, that would be plus two. So it's plus three. So my con is plus three. Bump up that dex. You know? You got you to gotta bump up that dex. I mean, Yeah, well, that won't be able to happen to level eight now. And I'll have to go up two with it, right? What was your ASI? What feat did you take? Mobile. Mobile. So cause I only had 25 feet as halfling. Mm-hmm. So that's plus 10 feet. Then level five barbarian, I get another 10 feet. So I'll have 45 feet of movement. It's a lot. It is a lot for a halfling. Yeah. I need that. <laughs> but I also don't invoke opportunity attacks on who I That's attack. That's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Necessary. That's pretty but awesome. Anyway, so I guess at level eight, if I want my AC to go up, I have to either bump. You're not going or... to fighter, though, are you? Level eight. You're When you're starting bard. Yeah. Well, not well, yeah, but I can still, I still got to get my AC up somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got a bard level. Okay, well, let me ask you this then. Okay, so, oh no, because I got that as barbarian. Never mind. I was going to say, do I still get to add my dex and con when I go bard? But yeah, because I already got that at whatever level. AJ. Sir. What what subclass of bard are you thinking about going into? If you get that high to go I, into. I don't know. If you don't die first. He's about to... He's that about to... He's, he's about, about to, to tell you something that's not in the PHB yeah. that you should check out. <laughs> no. Actually, this isn't the PHB. Um, I think it's a Valor Bard. Valor Bard. I think, yeah. The, it's I, not... I don't feel like it's as good. It may not be. So I'm not, not sure. I've never played a Bard. You're all about character development. I am. That's why I'm waiting to see what happens. But I'm not like trying to... I'm not trying to go Valor. Okay. If it if it's if that works into how it how the Honestly, game goes, I would do that. If you're gonna get your second attack at level five from the barbarian, there's not much point in going Valor. 
because they get that at level six. They get a second attack at level six. Cutting words versus the the valor bards is it's comparable. I mean, the thing about the valor bard is it doesn't. It's not really. It's like. Your bardic inspiration is for you, not for everybody else. No, you give it to other people. You give the and they get to use it as their reaction instead of you having to use it as your reaction. And they can add it to either their damage to increase their damage roll, or they can add it to their AC and just make it harder to hit. It's like a a shield that could be a one through eight plus their AC already. It could be good. Also Well, the thing is though, like whenever when, when he just first backwards. goes to Bard he still has to make it to level three before he can use that right. zombie. So that's a while down the yeah, road. We, yeah, we still got like four levels to go. Yeah. Tyra, Are we all still saying? level four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were you saying, Tyler? I didn't need to like mess with my character sheet. If you want a class or bard that uh, you can talk your way out of anything, that new book is dropping mm. July something. Anyway, it's uh, College of Eloquence. Of elements, eloquence, Elo- eloquence. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can uh, that has class is all it. about being able to like talk your way out of literally. Tyrell anything. loves all the books, like most people do. AJ refuses to open any I'm other book besides TV, Player's yeah. Handbook. I'll Which, take stuff out of it, but I, I don't know. You should I always make fun check of that one out. They actually, they actually have that in Unearthed Arcana, I think, right now. So, okay. So, what's the name of this new book? I need to look into this. Uh, something other th- of Theros. I, I mean, I get all mine in PDF, even though I don't have a laptop. <laughs> yep, I bought everybody in here a book for, like, a Christmas present. I was going to get Cameron one, because he was a player. I tried to get every new player a player's handbook. Didn't want one. Wouldn't take it, because he <laughs> used to bring... He had a laptop or something that he had all the PA... I was, um, I was able to borrow someone's Chromebook at that time. <laughs> he brought it twice. <laughs> yeah, I, I brought it literally twice. And I think one time I even brought it but my USB drive was messed up and yep. wouldn't even get recognized on the machine. So you don't even you don't own a laptop? No. no. I've wow. got my desktop computer and that's it. I can't really lug that here though. Well, right, yeah. I was just wondering if you were if, the, yeah, if that I, was going to make thought, an appearance. I just thought a guy <laughs> like you would have a laptop. Uh, no. I guess it's just me. P- PC gaming is better on desktops. Well, I well yeah, I agree, but just if you're only into computers, you should have a portable computer, shouldn't you? I, I mean, I, I guess, but I don't well, want to spend that kind of money. I mean, if he just one. if he's just gaming, you know, I mean, you don't you don't really have to do that. Anymore. It's not like I'm gonna. Don't you work IT? Uh, I mean, not really. I'm I, I would do like customer support right now. Hmm. I'm gonna try and find something IT related eventually. I wouldn't want. Well, wanna are we done talking about the campaign? I don't, I don't think Is there anything should. else y'all want to talk about? Nothing I can add to it. Nope, I, I kind of want to know Me what that Darren being is that kind of keeps quiet. talking to Urist because depending on that is like going to affect, I guess, probably if I multi-class into anything or what I might do in the future. Yeah. So is there anything else we want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not going to give us that info. I am not point. talking about that out of the game, no. Aw. You'll know soon enough. Yeah. I guess I guess that's all right. It'll, it'll keep me from metagaming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moving on. We'll do. We'll do movie minute first. We watched a fantastic movie. No, Me, didn't. AJ, and Tyrell last night watched a fantastic movie. We did. It was movie, so it. much better than I expected. What was it? Was it? Was we watched Mazes Monsters. and Monsters. Tom Hanks, 1982, so uh, Satanic Panic, fear mongering movie. <laughs> Wait, like, is it seriously? It's like calling Dungeons and Dragons evil or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. So That's I thought ridiculous. I actually thought someone committed suicide in this movie because a kid committed suicide in the real world. So I thought that's why they made this movie. And there is one character. He was hilarious. He changed hat every time he was in a new scene. He had the weirdest, craziest hats. And every time you saw him, he was in a different hat. Like seriously, the first one was a biker's hat that had like that metal spike. And he just like the ones were on SpongeBob, like the biker game. Yeah. People, uh, he just steps so like out a of World War One yes. German. Yes. Wow. <laughs> he steps out of a uh, a cab wearing that hat. The next time you see him, he was in. He had a construction hat that he was wearing with a tuxedo. The cowboy hat was the next. Cowboy one, hat, just huge then cowboy he, then hat. Then he had the motorcycle oh, helmet with the aviators. Yeah, the aviators. Like Pilot he just gear. 
I really thought this they were just going to give him out of Team Fortress Two. <laughs> I really thought they were just going to give him a new hat for every scene that he was in, and then they just kind of like, well, after five hats, we ran out of cool hats. Yeah. So Let's just swap just between the two fedoras back now. But <laughs> he's talking about wanting to commit suicide early on for no apparent reason, because yeah. it's not like he has an IQ of one ninety. The movie tells you that like yeah, three different times very sure. early. They want you to know he's intelligent. He's 16 and he's a sophomore in college because he has an IQ of 190. And apparently this is just a struggle for him. He just can't handle so being hard so being smart. smart. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants to commit suicide just because it would be legendary to commit suicide at his college. That's retarded. <laughs> Time out. What did, I where did no Nathan clue. go? Um, I think he went outside. Yeah. Oh, or he got something. He got or he chips got some chips. He has chips in a bowl. And Probably he doesn't walked over here. Screw you guys, left. I'm going home. <laughs> and I'm taking these chips with me. <laughs> Should we wait on him? Yes. Uh, I heard him get in his car. We are taking a brief intermission. So oh, yeah, please enjoy. Oh, yeah, car, I guess. Sweet sound. Well, look we who pause. decided to show up. <laughs> did we pause? I, I, it didn't actually pause. We stopped because been. I didn't know what you were doing. No, I was getting a drink. I was getting... Well, get back over here. Speaking of, speaking of getting a drink, I need to refill my water bottle. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're never inviting this many people again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I, 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 I didn't watch the movie, so I couldn't add anything to it. You always have something to add. Nothing. That movie sounded awful. It is. For the most part, there's so, still, there's still so more. was it supposed to be a okay. serious movie? Yes, it's a very serious it's movie. It's so bad that it's funny. So they they play mazes and monsters. And they kind of talk like it's it's a bad thing. People get too into this game because like some of the characters are like we're not fanatics about it. Like how many times do you play? Just three or four times a week. Yeah, <laughs> we're not fanatics. <laughs> we're not fanatics though. <laughs> it was horrible acting. Tom Hanks should be embarrassed that this is on his resume. He's probably the worst actor in it. No, you hated you hated the smart kid. The smart kid was bad. Tom Hanks was really bad though. They sounded like kids in their in a in a Christmas play. And they look like kids in a Christmas play. <laughs> yeah. <play. laughs> so they decide to mix LARPing. Mm. They don't know about LARPing because I don't think it's created yet. They go into a cave to play mazes and monsters, and they kind of LARP and Tom Hanks's character gets so into it that when the DM or whatever they call them is described saying, "Hey, there's a monster attacking you," he starts having visions of seeing this monster and thinks that he's actually defeated it and killed it. And then from that moment on, he is Purdue, his character, yeah. and not his. Human Wait, so self. he actually dissociates and thinks he's yes. his. Yeah. yeah, he starts like blessing people because he's the holy man. Yeah, he's a cleric. He's a cleric. They call him just the holy man. Yeah, they just call him the holy man. Yeah, so he he absolutely loses it. Then you find out, oh, he also has this brother that disappeared on Halloween at his birthday, just ran off to New York, and this has affected him strangely. <laughs> and so he he decides he has dreams that. He has to go and meet the Great Hall, which his brother's name is Hall, at the Two Towers. So they're all thinking, oh, Tolkien, Two Towers. But, I mean, anyone who's lived through 9-11 puts, nine, or puts New York and Two Towers yeah. into the... Yeah. Yeah. So we knew exactly yeah, we what knew. it was talking about. And so they, they chase him to New York, find him. He, he murders a... He stabs a dude. I don't think he murdered him because no. the guy kind of got up and then walked yeah. away. But he stabs just a biker guy, just a thug. Some Some random a dude. classic no, shark. They were they were they were, to, they were messing with him. They wanted his they wanted his component pouch. <laughs> his What's in that bag? His component pouch. He, he, he carried he, component pouch. I'm sure they probably thought it had money like, in it or something. Uh, They're trying to mug him, you know. But yeah, it was his component pouch. So he just pulls out a wow. knife and stabs it, and he's seeing really badly. Like you see the thug, and then it cuts to the monster, and the monster's like fit, ten foot further back than the it thug was. was. Like, he was trying, to, do it was like trying a, to associate them as the same thing. But there was such a difference that it was just horrible. So even the camera work was bad? Oh, there was nothing good about this movie. No. Wow. <laughs> no, the camera work was possibly the worst part. It looked like a soap opera yeah. most of the time. The music was bad. Like, they just played random love songs, through, like, during. Oh. And then there was time, they got into this cave and they'd spend, like, literal two to three minutes of them just like stumbling around not doing anything <laughs> not talking just having trouble walking around this cave <laughs> like a film 
stupid. It was <laughs> painful. <laughs> I am not. I, I didn't go to college for any kind of uh, of videography or any of that. But I have watched so many people on YouTube. Like it's just kind. I like watching it. I I know now. Like I've gotten into it enough. I know what good scenes are. I know what directors are going for. There was a point where he goes over like mirrors are a big deal in a lot of movies. They want yeah. to like the duality of someone, I guess. And there's a point where. Oh, we're gonna put Tom Hanks in a, in a mirror. There's no purpose. No purpose. No, <laughs> no purpose. He hadn't gone through wow. his his shift in thinking. That normally, so, in, in like a movie or a show, someone it, looks in a mirror. They're like about to go crazy yeah. or something. No, he yeah. didn't look in the mirror. He was just looking back at the girl and his. And there was a mirror that was oddly turned, so you could see his, this half of his face too. So is it wow. the writing, yeah. the directing, and the producing just absolutely All sucked? That. Because even though Tom Hanks may have sucked in the movie. Knowing Tom Hanks, he's going to go above and beyond to fill in the position that he's... Oh. Well, just so, wait till the end. <laughs> so they, I mean, they finally chase him actor. to New York, just, just and they climb up. He, they follow him up to the top of one of the Twin Towers, and he's about to jump off and cast Fly on himself. And they like, no, I'm the DM, and I say you don't have enough points to do that, and he, it breaks him out of his stupor a little bit. It's like... This is literally his acting. What am I doing here? Why can't I remember? Wow. 100% accurate. 100% accurate. And then they hug it out. And this is the redeeming, this is the only redeeming thing I have for this film. Like they, they all think he doesn't go back to college with him. He goes back home and they all go to visit him. And they, the mom tells him, oh, he's doing much better. And then they come and talk to him, and he's still out of his mind. Mo- movies nowadays don't do that. They try to fix everything. This guy stays out of his mind, and they go play in the woods like there's, they're playing Eminem again. And he just never gets better. Wait, when was this movie? 1982. 1982. So what you're telling me, this was the movie that set him up to play uh, Castaway. I know. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. Somebody saw this What's movie. What's really funny and is he, he had a good. scene where he's running. He's jogging with his girlfriend in the movie, and he's running exactly like he ran in Forrest Gump. That's just Tom Hanks running. <laughs> That's just how Tom Hanks runs. That's hilarious. <laughs> with his arms kind of just out to the side, doing this weird shifting thing. I just love to think that Tom Hanks actually IRL runs like Forrest Gump. He does. Yeah. He really does. He is Forrest Gump. <laughs> I started and, uh, running. Run, forest, but run. the whole, the this whole like, so I gave it a five out of ten. It was the I thought the, that last bit where he was like screaming, like, "What am I doing here? I can't remember." I thought that's exactly how the whole movie was going to be, that bad. So when it was just that one part, then I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Yeah, Seth, just it's just because you like dark things is the reason that maybe like Seth I almost appreciates when a main character dies. I applauded the <laughs> fact that uh, the Amazing Spider-Man people in that Amazing Spider-Man Two atrocity uh, killed Gwen. That was that was a great Spider-Man that was, movie. No. I mean, isn't Gwen even supposed to die in like the that comics? Has it wasn't really Electro. a plot twist, was it? What that had Electro that had uh. Don't mm-mm. you can get out of my house right now if you think that's a great Spider-Man movie. I thought it was a great movie. Oh, uh, I was shaken to the core that she died at the end of that. See, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, it didn't really happen I exactly how the, comic the comics book. went. It he he actually just snaps her neck by like grabbing her, but her slamming in the ground was way better. I didn't think they were going to do it. I thought they were. I gonna, don't think she slammed the ground. Yeah, she hit the ground. Yeah. I, thought, I thought he caught her like right before she hit, but then and just the inertia like night. broke her neck. No, no, she, 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 hit the she hit the ground. Oh, okay. She she bounced off the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and it was, so he did catch her right before, but it was not enough to stop it the momentum. It was such a, a fast moment. You think that the inertia stopped? It's just her. like you think, oh man, he actually got her, and then, and it's just dead silent. And that's all you hear. It's just. It's not like this big dramatic. Yeah, they don't you know, noise. It's just. Music. It's just. That's yeah, the comic. The comic page for that story. I think she, uh, the Green Goblin or something actually threw her off of uh, a bridge or something. Kind of like the first uh, Spider-Man movie that they did with uh, Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. I think they actually did that with Gwen first, and he he whips down and grabs her ankle, and you think nothing about it except there's just this little bitty. Crick sound that they place right next to her neck. 
that lets you know that her neck has been broken. You wouldn't even notice it mm-hmm. and, until you find out she's dead later, and you could go back and you see this just little, little bitty crick sound. That's crazy. Terrible. But yeah, so I do like the darker things. I like that. Like the I, I like that directing choice that they kept Tom Hanks's character <laughs> insane. It's so stupid. But also, like, if this was their banner of he, the satanic panic. Then they should have been talking about mental health a lot more than spiritual adversaries. Because basically, you're, you're telling me this is the reefer madness movie of D and D. Yes, it was. It was insane. So uh, <clears throat> my question now would be, AJ, since you have a sister that has gone to New York yeah. and you're playing D and D heavily, yeah. Um, do you ever find yourself going in between? You know. <laughs> He thinks he's Quincy. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not sure, actually. Um, <laughs> well, actually, he said something. He said crazy. something. Exactly. It was like, oh, God, we have to worry about AJ now. What, you what said did I something. Say? I don't remember. You're like, I like that or something. Their, their figurines were great. The when They had one guy who was DMing. He was doing a great job DMing. They had just Tom Hanks' character was a great artist. He was drawing some super awesome maze maps. Like... We were we were ready to play some D and D after we watched that movie because yeah. that's yeah, what it they, did for us. There was one scene that we were sitting in a room playing. I was like, man, that looks awesome. Yeah. This looks like a good game. We need to add go. candles in here. They had so many candles. That's what they lit up the whole place yeah. with. It's like that, if they wanted to turn people off at D and D, this is not the way to do it. <laughs> that would be the coolest lighting, though, if we just had candles everywhere mm-hmm. instead of. Yeah, that know, would make lamps. the setting. Dude, that would just awesome. be a definite fire hazard. Yeah. Well, yeah. in the room they were in, they had like books stacked up everywhere yeah. with candles sitting right next to them. I was like, this place is going to burn to the ground. The characters, for un- for unknown reasons, decide to lie to the cops when their friend goes missing. They think he's committed suicide, and they don't tell the cops that they play the game with him. Like, there's such a stigma against it. Apparently, they're gonna not believe them or think that they murdered him or something. I don't know. It was really weird. It was ridiculous. Okay, on the console, <laughs> PS5 release. That's gonna be awesome. I love the lineup in that. I like. I watched all the. Trailers. I didn't watch the. I, I didn't watched watch the whole thing. Take this thing away. And I was not impressed at all. What? Xbox is going to hit back hard at Sony because of that bullcrap lineup that they had. I don't, dude. Xbox is waiting until July. Sony didn't. This is what's. This is Sony's plan. They didn't put a price on it. They're going to wait for Xbox because they think Xbox is going to put a price on theirs and they're going to undercut them and that's what's going to save them. But Xbox has a big chance to hit them back on the jaw after they won PS4, Xbox won. They won that. Mm-hmm. Xbox is going to come back here. The Scarlet, is that what they're calling it now? The no. Scarlet? Uh, no? no, Xbox Series X. Okay. The X is going to probably beat out the PS5 because of those crappy, crappy games. They led with GTI 5. GTA. GTA 5. They led with GTA 5. Like, I knew right then, oh, we're in trouble. Wait, Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be on PS5? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I, I guess it makes sense because they're going to up the graphics a bunch. Like, there, I still, well, I have a really good PC and I can't max the graphic on settings on 5. And I don't, I don't make GTA it. 6 then. Yeah, that would be nice. Did GTA 5 come out on PS3? Yeah, it yeah. was on 360 and PS3 and then it came out on like PC and PS4 and Xbox They were one. bragging how... Uh, how the Grand Theft Auto games have been on all of the consoles of Sony. And, yeah, th- this one game has been on three of them now. Yeah, GTA half 5. Half of them. <laughs> over half. GTA 5. Make a new game. GTA 5 has been out since, like, right after I graduated high school. It's time for a new Grand Theft Auto. It pissed me off. <laughs> because that, like. How lazy. That, the nerve. <laughs> they're going. This is a third time they're going to charge someone 70 bucks for this game. Probably more. They're probably going to charge... They're going to have a $90 release of this game, and people's going to buy it. Not to mention all of the online credits that people buy, because that's like... They're giving away money now as a part of their promotion on the PS4, because they know, well, no one's going to play the PS4 one once we get the PS5, so we're going to give you a million dollars every month on online until it comes out on PS5. Yay. Doesn't matter because PS5, no, all that money's gone, and no one's gonna care. It, it. No, you can import your thing between between platforms. Can you? Okay, I didn't yeah. Know I've never really played GTA Five. Yeah, if you play GTA Online, you can move your character. Like, it, say, if well, you, that's cool then. Yeah, it's neat. But yeah, anyways, they need to make a new Grand Theft. They Auto. They need to make a new Grand Theft Auto. Was that? 
Is that the last one they made? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's the last Grand they, Theft Auto. They, they did make Red Dead Redemption 2 since then. I think that's the only yeah. game they've made since GTA. Oh, okay, so the, they've made two well, games. Well, they're since still making like expansions. They've made two games since PS3. Come on. <laughs> Aren't they still making like expansions and stuff for, uh, for the Lost in the Grand Damned, Theft Auto? Uh, and there was I another don't one. I think so. Online? I mean, they're, they're making, yeah, they're making new stuff for online. They've got a lot of support for online because it's, I guess, been big. Oh, is it just Grand They've Theft Auto online? Yeah. For Red Dead online. Oh, yeah. Here it is. It's the Fortnite skin thing. It's just yeah. one, one of the microtransactions. Here we go. Grand Theft Auto 5 released 2013. Yeah. It's been seven years. They've made two games in seven years. Speaking of games, they were good games. that need to be released that have been waiting for you know to come out for forever. Um, Elder Scrolls Six, anybody? That's not coming out until twenty twenty four. I know. I'm, I know. That's what I'm saying. They, they were on a roll. Like it seemed like they would release a game every six years. Like bro. Well, now that. you know why because they're they're making this uh, Death Loop game, yeah, which looks pretty sweet. It Death probably, Loop looks awesome. probably my favorite game from the PS5 release. It just thing. to me, it looks it, like a reskinned um, Dishonored. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I can't. I, I said Dishonored, but I also yeah. said it looks a lot like Bioshock. But, yeah, I can yeah. see that With the too. two hands doing stuff. Yeah, looks it still looks Bioshock. cool though. I it was one of the more interesting games. The, the other thing that I had such a problem interested. was all the cartoony junk. Yeah. Okay. No. Wait. I will say. It. And what was that like? Bug snacks. Bug snacks. I am. The creators of Octodad, they make kind of goofy stuff. It's just not my cup of tea. Go ahead, too. So I'm hyped, super hyped for the two Assassins game. I think that one looks awesome. The what? The two Assassins games. Oh, not Assassins. There are two Assassin game. Like, two Assassin gang is what it's There's called? two Assassins in this game. Oh. They just, one is hunted the entire night. Deathloop. De- is that Deathloop? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's Deathloop. I thought that was, I thought you were talking about, I thought that was something else. No, that's, that's, that's death loop. No, that's the one where you, when you die, oh, okay. you just go back yep. to the loop and you yep. start over. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, and you've got like an assassin coming after you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> that was Bethesda's then, game. Um, that was yeah. I, I knew that. And, but the cream of the crop of this whole thing, the, the thing that made it all just, that did it for me, was the trailer for Resident Evil 8. That I actually want to talk yeah. to you about Resident Evil 7. Because okay. it's is it a far removal from the other Resident Evil games? It is. Because <clears throat> I have 7, and I've never played any of the other ones. It is. Would I like 7? Would you, if, you, if you've never played the I've others? I've never played any of them, but I have 7 because I bought it at like Black Friday 2 years Do you ago. like scary games? Maybe. I don't know. Do you like games that are kind of immersive? Sure. I like D&D, don't I? I mean, this one, this one is... It is, it's quite different from any other Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 7. First off, it puts you in that first, first person view, okay? Um, oh, they're not normally like that? No. I think Resident all, Evil 7 is the only one I've ever seen. I watched it on YouTube Resident, and I didn't watch all of it because it was too scary. Every too Resident scary. Evil that came out before Resident Evil 4 was, was third fixed person. camera angle. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't I'm talking, 4 also like third person fixed camera? It wasn't fixed camera. It was over the shoulder. Oh, it was, okay. and they, they like... People will say, and I'm not I'm not sure how many people, but people will say that Resident Evil Four just completely redid the whole shooter, did did the whole shooter genre, because with that with that over the shoulder active camera, yeah, you know you 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 know where you're aiming and you have complete control of where you're aiming. Yeah. Whereas before that, it was like point your gun in this direction and fire. It was like and, Ratchet and Clank style. Kind of, yeah. Like auto aim stuff. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank, there's a new Ratchet and Clank game in that. that looks the cool best too. of the cartoony games. I never played Ratchet and Clank. The one I'm the most hyped for that I saw was Horizon Forbidden West. I didn't I play the Horizon. first Horizon game. Dude, Horizon Zero Dawn is really good. That is a game I want to play. That's If you I ever it? made my. I do. No, I don't. Oh, crap. I should have brought my. That, I could have brought that game. That's a good game, dude. If ever I did the Bud Plays late or whatever, I would definitely want to play that game. I've never heard Got of that to one. play Horizon Zero Dawn. It's Horizon like one Zero of the Dawn? best games on PlayStation. I'm 4. sure you have. It's like the girl with the flaming red hair who has a bow and there's dinosaur mechs running around or something. Sounds know. really bad. No, it, no dude, it's really good. <laughs> it was an early PS4 release. Like it was, it's a Sony exclusive, mm-hmm. and it was early in the oh, PS4. Oh no, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah that yeah, game yeah, is so yeah, good. It's really good. So much fun. I think. I didn't watch the whole thing, but the one 
Anthony pointed that out to me that they were actually doing the Demon Souls remake, which looks, yes, looks amazing. Awesome. When I was watching that trailer, because I never saw anything of Demon Souls, but I was watching the trailer and I thought this feels really Souls like. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then it was, and then it said Demon Souls, and I'm like, that's why. <laughs> and it's not just a remaster; it's actually a remake. Full on so, remake. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be. <laughs> Stray, you did you see Stray? Yeah, super strange. Like, I'm, I'm, uh, like you know, oddly like enough, hyped for it. Hyped for it. I'm here for it. It looks interesting, <laughs> but I'm not oddly sure enough, good. I think I think this they game had has, all these computer people. They had like computer monitors for heads, and then there's just this random cat walking around. Well, you see imagery in the whole thing, like rip human beings, yeah, or, like you know, to the human gone. race. So I think I think this I'm not sure what this game is about. I'm not sure what the the whole premise is, but I think just from what I can maybe understand about what's going on, it has potential to be uh, the the next Portal. Which Portal was I love Portal. Yeah, I mean yeah. Portal yeah. was not your run of the mill mm-hmm. game. It was it kind of you know turned everything on its head. It's like hey, this is a puzzle game, but it's I don't think it'll be that good. I'm just I, looking at it. I don't think it's gonna be that good. If I didn't know anything about Portal, and then you showed me a trailer for Portal, I'd be like, "That's gonna suck." <laughs> how much have you looked really good? <laughs> how much have you looked at the iPhone arcade games? None. iPhone arcade games are good games. They have very good graphics. Like it, it's yeah, probably worth really your little games. bit of money. Mm-hmm. It is. They're good games. All of the PS5 cartooning looking games look like they belong on iPhone arcade. Mm. I can I can problem. agree with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can so see bug snacks in, bug the, in snacks. the app store. That little Japanese uh, thing that was shooting bow and arrows looked just like an iPhone game that I've seen before. Japanese shooting bow and arrow. It was a girl, and I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. was that the one with like the little spirit things or whatever, the bridge of spirits or something? Oh yeah, Kino, yeah. Kino, 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 something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly thought it looked kind of cool. Looked like an iPhone game to me. Um, I thought it looked kind of cool. Game. Tokyo? Yeah, I, I Did that. you see Tokyo? That game just was like Slender Man or something. I don't know. What this, was that? Dragon High or whatever that. Goodbye, Volcano High. Volcano High. Dragon High. <laughs> Good. Dragon. Yeah, yeah, they were. I think, I think. I don't think they were dragons. I think they were dinosaurs. Really? I think that the whole story is going to be like there was this world before the comet hit. Dear God. I don't remember seeing that one, but I just watched like a comet. It looked like of trailers. bad anime. I will say the new Gran Turismo looks yes amazing up high, my friend. That's something like they're always going to make a Gran Turismo early on in the in the release. Of course, what was that? I like? don't care about it. I don't like. It's probably the most beautiful game they're going to release on the entire console for that console. I don't care though, because it's racing. Yeah, I'm not interested. What was that one destruction derby looking one? It had like kind of a Fortnite feel. With it the, was like with the Fortnite graphics. in with Crash Derby. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Sign like, me up. Yeah, that, that one looked really high. cool. Is it like dirt or no? You're in burnout like a, out or is no, it any in like of those? An arena. It's okay. Did you ever see uh, Rocket Ball? Rocket League. Rocket, Rocket League. League. Oh yeah. It kind of looks like Rocket League a little bit mixed with Fortnite. And then you're just crashing. And you're in a car. And you're crashing into people's cars and stuff. Sign okay, wait. It looked about? really cool. And then, like, I think if your car gets destroyed, you can You can still, run around and steal someone else's car or destroy someone else's car. Yeah, yeah what you can about, still run around on foot with all these cars crashing around you. What about the <laughs> new Spider-Man? Looks pretty awesome. Probably will be the best game. Has to be. As good I'm as the last one. about that game. Is it Miles? The, uh, Miles Morales? Yeah. It's not the sequel. I don't think it's not going to be the... I think they said it's not going to be the sequel. I think it's just going to be a short little... I don't know. I think it I'm, would cool. I'm scared about my, the Miles game. I'm like I'm. I'll get it because I love this. I love Spider-Man PS4. Um, I'm I'm scared. I'm. I hope that's not the sequel because then they're just gonna have killed off Peter or something crazy. I still think that there's gonna be a Spider-Man two. I think this think- is just an in between thing. It made me think that like maybe it's in the distant future after Peter's kind of too old to keep doing it and he has a successor. I figure it's gonna be. And in between. I figure yeah. Spider-Man 2 is going to come up right after Miles. Miles didn't look too much older than how he looked in the game, mm-hmm. in the in the last game, you know? I, I think it may be just a continuation of Miles' story. Yeah. You know, whereas you got just that little bit of gameplay with Miles. I was upset they didn't have Batman. Uh, I wish that Do you been. know that they're making a Batman yeah, game? Yeah, they're making a Batman. I would love to see a game where you play as Iron Man. 
Is it like yes. Avengers type of game? Well, they're, they're making that Avengers. They're, they're making an Avengers game. It looked like a. It looked like for kids. I mean, it looked like, like it should be on the iPhone too. Yeah, not, not the iPhone X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks really bad. It looked it looked like a PS2 I game. I'm, I want like an Avengers game, but like in the style of the Spider Man that's on PS4. Yes. That would be so Spider Man Spider Man killed it. Like people did not expect that and Spider Man killed it. Sucks that it's a PlayStation exclusive. I'm I mean Ugh, there's so many the exclusives that the PS4 got really I mean were phenomenal. Because I don't know about Xbox, I don't have an Xbox, I don't know about the exclusives that Xbox has. He's got like Gears of War, Forza, Forza, Gears of well, War, Forza, Gran Turismo. Which one do you rather play? And then you have all the external assets and mods and stuff that you can. I've yeah, never really games, played Forza. But I'd rather just play stuff on PC than on Xbox. Like we're not having that Microsoft. discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's. I mean, it's still Microsoft, so it's going to have a lot of the same stuff. You've got Halo I mean, on PC. There's a new. There's a new Gears that's on PC. Like, not working. I'll just I'll have PlayStation, um, Nintendo, and PC. That's that's gonna be me. <laughs> um, is Nintendo coming out with anything new? Like they're gonna the have the, they're, they're gonna, gonna have on? Nintendo's. So like right now it's supposed to be the E or not? Uh, it's supposed to be some game. E three. E three is supposed to be going on right now. So a lot of the Are places they still doing that or is it? No, it's been closed. That's why. Yeah, it's been closed. That's why Sony did their. Well, Sony never play. participated in E three, anyways. Well, they didn't last year. They have before that. Oh. Yeah, they have in the past. They're, they're winning they're so be. hard lately that they're like, we don't have to show you all anything. We'll just do our gonna Sony show. show. We're going to do our Sony show, and that's going to be good enough. You know, I going to love it, and people do. Uh, it, it's the a really PS5 cool is going to be freaking huge. Like, I saw a picture of it compared to the other. I think the oh, PS4 Oh, yeah, that was the first was thing incredible. I noticed was that it looked very large. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's going to be even bigger than the PS4 Pro. Like, significantly bigger. <laughs> Yeah, that's just so they can release a slim version in a few years. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. In a year. That's not going to work quite as well, but you'll want it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one you just take around, a portable one. Well, with the release of Demon Souls, and if they do actually come out with a Bloodborne 2 and stuff like that, I might actually consider getting, like I said before, I might actually consider getting a PS2 or PS4. Five. Five. five, five because two, of that. four, five. Gosh, I can't think. Why yeah. can't I just have all of them? Yeah. So oh, what man. if you don't know that you when you they just come need to out? Buy more money. Hey, you don't have to buy the PS. Like I, looking at that release stuff, I don't know if I'm going to get a PS5 for like half a year. Yeah, I might well, wait. That's the thing release, is like but... they they're releasing these games to get people to bridge the gap between. They're they're bridging the gap between PS4 and PS5. They're that's what this initial thing is. It's just like, you know. You know, you guys who enjoy the PS4, here's the PS5. You know, let's you know let's let's jump into it. Let's you know let's let's keep going on this high. And then in a few years, they're going to release some more exclusives that are just going to be far and beyond. They're going to be true too. Like they know, might have been trying to focus on exclusives. I don't know if there was any game shown. That was not an exclusive. I mean, that, well, few maybe. Yeah, there. I, I've got. Did, I've got. Did they show assassins? The new assassins. They did not show assassins. The, I've got this right here. Okay. Um, 2K21. Yeah, 2K21 yeah, is is the one that is you know definitely. They didn't show much of that game, did they? Just showed Zion I mean, sweating a lot. <laughs> that was it. Really Hitman Three is Hit that a remake or is that? If I'm not mistaken, this is they rebooted the Hitman series. Didn't they? This is the I've final never, one. They I've said. never played any of the Hitman. They said this games. is the final in the trilogy. No, no that's but what I've I mean. I've never played though. the Hitman games. That's either. what I mean, though. The, like they oh, did they show a new Hitman at the thing? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the trailer for that. That's awesome. I love the Hitman so, games. So, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think they just re remade the series, um, and then this one is just gonna, you know, culminate into the final of it. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Resident Evil Eight will probably be cross platform. Now. Yeah, is is that does be. that look exactly like seven, just in the same horror? Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, it looks like they're going down the same trail. Cause was seven a shooter? Didn't not really. <laughs> not 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 really. Okay. Now it's more Silent Hilly, right? Right, and that's yeah. what they're trying to do. Because yeah. the first, I mean, Resident Evil one through six. First off, it seemed. It seemed like it went down in quality completely. Like you know, there's a great story there. There's a great narrative that you can follow. There's there's uh, awesome 
They kind of turned into action games more than horror. That's exactly what happened. I mean, in Resident Evil 5, you, you're playing as Chris Redfield, who you see in the Resident Evil 8 trailer. Um, and the high point of Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 5 is he decides to you know punch a boulder to get it to where it needs to be so that he can beat the final boss. He's literally uppercutting a boulder, okay? <laughs> that's so and it's stupid. like rolling it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's boy. Funny. I mean, wow. and and um, Resident Evil Six All it would was just break your na- knuckles. <laughs> the thing about Resident Evil Six is it was first off, it's it's one whole game, but there's like six different stories in this game. So you're playing different pieces of a game that all culminate into one, and it's it's like you're playing three separate games, and they're all they're all short. The story's not that great. I can't remember it. I remember playing it. I just can't remember anything about it. It's not It's not great. And then they went back to the drawing board with Resident Evil 7. And you're playing as a new character. And, I mean, i got to say, great. Great game. A game I'm kind of worried about now, since it's, it's almost definitely going to be on the PS5 instead of the PS4, is like the next part of the Final Fantasy VII remake. I was hoping there'd be some way to like move your save from one to the next, keep your gear. They've your talked levels. about that because they are backwards compatible. They're talking about maybe any game you've had on PS4 could be moved to PS5. That you that don't have to buy it again. They've talked about that. I don't know if they're doing it. I hope but they do. There's been a lot of rumors that if you have the game on PS4, you're going to be able to have it on PS5. The problem I hope is they do that. the problem is with that. It's the same thing that <clears throat> um, Xbox ran into with the. Um, Xbox One is like I've got Gears of War, the Gears of War series, and that's what made me get the Xbox 360 was mm-hmm. Gears of War. Gears those of War awesome. you can you can play those games on the Xbox One, the 360 versions, you know. Um, but they came out with a remake of Gears of War, and it is far and above. Like graphics are amazing, uh, music is amazing, gameplay is great, you know, story is better. Um, but you know, you miss out on some of that, you know, if you don't get the remastered version, the re, you know, uh, they're trying to take every bit of money from you. They can, right. Well, they got it. How many platforms (laughs) has Skyrim been on at this point? I think the same. Yeah. Well, it released on 360 PS3. So they might not bring it to, I would really love if they didn't, but they probably will. They're going to put Skyrim on PS5. You freaking know it. (laughs) I don't know. know. I mean, when did that come out? Busy coming out with the next. You would game? think that they're yeah, Hopefully. because <laughs> like it takes a lot of work to do that. Surely to God they won't do that. The game's nearly ten years old. I guarantee. I would put money on it being on PS Five. I wouldn't doubt it. But <laughs> I'll be just as mad as at Bethesda for doing that as I am at the Grand Theft Auto thing. I, just build your new game. Come on. So basically what they do with the Grand Theft Auto is just give it a new coat of paint. The first time you turn on the PS5, you're just going to hear... They actually showed the... Hey, you're they showed, they showed oh. like turning on the PS5. It looked pretty cool. Everything, the system looks sweet. They, they even have the, the digital version. You don't have to ever have CDs. You can just uh, download the games just like Xbox is doing. Yeah. Now, do they, do, are they making an Xbox version that can take CDs? No, I don't know about the Xbox PS5 Series X. Has a version that can. Yeah, and a version that can't. Well, yeah, they're going to have to because my about? internet is not going to allow me to download a whole game. I, I thought the X did not have. No, no it does. It, it does. does. Okay. The, it the Xbox so. One S. Okay. Is okay. all digital. Okay. Oh, it is. Well, they do. Yeah. They have a PS5 that's going to be all digital. I that believe you can it's buy, one S. But they also have a PS5 that's going to. I would. I have, yeah. I was I seeing have, the have meme the circulate about the PS5 options. and where yeah. they put it into a form of uh, like uh, the Eye of Sauron because the way yeah. it's shaped yeah. Yeah. and it says it's one <laughs> console to play them all. <laughs> <laughs> what about a? Uh, have you seen the one where you, you guys remember Kaiba from the Yu-Gi-Oh originals? Yeah. That you know how he has the high white collar. They put his head at the top. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty good. Did any of you guys ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh abridged on YouTube? No. He like summons three monsters at once in the first episode. That's against the rules. Screw the rules. I have money. <laughs> Wait, I'm severely injured and you're going to go play card games with your arch rival? Yeah, 
pretty much. No wonder your parents are never around. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the abridged versions are funny on so It's hilarious. Yeah. DBZ abridged is hilarious. Oh my god, DBZ abridged was great. You got something else here? Well, I was just gonna go over. We talked about. Um, Oh, I haven't seen the abridged. No. Oh, one second. Sorry. So we talked about NBA 2K uh, 21. Talked about Spider-Man, Gran Turismo, Horizon, Resident Evil 8, Demon Souls, Grand Theft Auto 5, um, Hitman 3 a little bit, Ghostwire Tokyo is what you were talking about. Didn't look good. Um, I'm angry. <laughs> Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Nope. I like that one. I thought it looked kind of cool. I would never spend sixty dollars on that game. Bug snacks. No. Nope. Talked about that. It, I realized it, that that game was really meant for kids, but no. Death Loop, uh, Destruction All Stars. Mm-hmm. Was that that? I think that's, yeah, that uh, was the Demolition Derby one. Okay. That looks really freaking awesome. Ratchet but I mean, if it's like Fortnite, I'm not going to be interested. Well, I mean, it's got Fortnite style graphics, but it's probably still going to be multiplayer online. I am just it's not like, interested in multiplayer online at all. It's just, I, I it's see like that they brought big, back um, the. PlayStation 3 character Sackboy for Sackboy Adventures. See, yeah, that I didn't like that either. Um, it looks like a platformer. I, it, it looks, I mean, it looks neat. It looks mm. neat, I'll say. I wouldn't buy it, but if it came with <laughs> the PS5. It's the kind of thing that comes free with a PS5. Yeah, like, you time. know, Lego Indiana Jones with the Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. I played the crap out of that because, you know, I had it. It was neat. What game was it that comes preloaded on the PS5? They had one I saw that it said it comes preloaded on there, and it didn't look that good. Which I mean, if uh, it comes free with your PlayStation, they're not, they're not going to include a triple A title with the right. just with the console on launch. But I, yeah, I might would buy the Miles. If they made a Miles PS5, I might would do that. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, uh, like with a Spider Man style skin, mm-hmm. that would be pretty. Cool. Oh, that would be awesome. I'd get that. See, uh, there, there were so back many Xbox 360s that were themed yeah. like that. They had like a Halo one, a Gears one. All I had a Gears of... three uh, Xbox 360. I wanted that one, but uh, maybe when doesn't it make a really cool like Gears related yeah. sound when yeah. you boot it up? Yeah, maybe when the Arkham game comes out, they'll make a Batman uh, PS5, and that's the one I'll buy. Uh, let's see. They had this game Godfall. I saw that. It looked pretty cool. Godfall. Godfall. That rings a bell. I watched I that one a while back. About. I was looking for it some looks, PS5 it, it, releases. It early. has some, I think, was it Gearbox? Yeah, Gearbox, the people who made Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the uh, it that's Borderlands like, with swords. It looked like yeah, Destiny. Yeah, yeah. it looked like Destiny. With it's, it's like yeah. a shooting loop, but you use swords. Yeah. Oh, really? Tyrell told us about that one. I that think. Cool. No, I did. I, it was I, me. I saw the trailer for that one. Let's see. Yeah, it was, was made by the same people as Borderlands. I thought you watched all the trailers. Now, I saw like a compilation on YouTube <laughs> that was like maybe 20, 30 minutes of just trailers. I was, no, it was the whole hour and like a half uh, show was nothing but trailers. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and they didn't developers talk any, talking about. No, they would talk for 30 seconds. Yeah. It was all trailers. Yeah, that's good. Really? Okay. Yeah, was, go. That was like cool. That's kind of why I was not happy though, because it was just so many trailers I did not like. Yeah. <laughs> I Let's guess see, the one Square I saw was like Enix. A greatest hits compilation or something. Square Enix. I remember seeing Square the, Enix. The uh, creators of Final Fantasy. Yeah. Uh, they're releasing a new game called Project Athia. Oh, that looked really cool. PS5 exclusive. Yeah. I um, remember seeing that. I don't remember. I remember I seeing it. I just, there was so much that I was hyped for. There were so many games I'll, that were so similar. Coming from coming from Square Enix, though, that's, that's going to be a quality game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I trust them. They're good devs. Solar Ash. Oh, that looked cool. It's made from the same people that made Hyperlight Drifter, and that game is really cool. That's right. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> never heard of that game. It's exactly Cameron what Cameron just likes says. all games, so y'all just don't listen to his opinion. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, his opinions, they're all good. Hey, I said Bug Snacks was bad. Let's what about see. the Volcano High? That's got to be the worst one. Uh, the dinosaur the game. One. Nah, Bug Snacks was pretty bad. Yeah. But actually, Bug Snacks looked better than Goodbye Volcano Ooh. High. Oh, so. what about Returnal? That looked really cool. That looked intriguing. You play as this woman, and she's like, yeah, she's like lost on some alien planet, and every time she dies, she like comes back to life and has to start the whole thing over again. Yeah, I, sounds like Dark Souls. It kind of that one was one of the first ones that was not so cartoony. Yeah, but it also kind of looks like it could be very bad. It gave me some like Dead Space vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I felt the same way. I didn't play Dead Space. I should have. Oh, oh man, it was, it was a lot of fun. There's another was, good one that scary. I was into. 
Yeah, I remember I never watching played two play or three. It. I played through like most of the first one. Yeah, Goodbye Volcano High. I had yeah, that's the best. I kind of, I kind of took my headphones off and walked into another room. <laughs> I was at like work. My, it's like My Little Pony done wrong. Yeah, I was like, I was at work, so I didn't want anybody <laughs> seeing this. So. It's like Dragon Tales, but worse. Yes, <laughs> yes, Dragon Tales. That's exactly what it is. I minimized the window that it was in because I was at work and I was just like talking. I was like, okay, I don't want anybody to see. You don't want anybody to look over here and get the wrong idea. What are they thinking? Look at this trailer now because it just it sounds so bad. Oh, it's so. It's like that. It's like it looks like an indie anime. It looks like a TV. Yeah, it looks like an anime show. It doesn't look like a game. I don't know. I did not see any gameplay in it. It was just a a trailer. A trailer. It's it's one of those slow pan. Across a cartoon, uh, an anime background with very little movement of for stuff. eight to nine year olds. Yeah, <laughs> you know how like it'll show like an anime, an anime scene. Say it's in a grocery store. Yeah, and like the only person moving in the whole thing is the main character. All the rest of it's just kind of stationary. Right. That's what the whole game looked like. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and they're playing of, in a band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a band. If it yeah. has a Guitar Hero aspect to it. You'll I'll be in. in. I'll be all over. You'll be that. in. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm not. I'm not no. completely. I'm no. not. I don't think it looks terrible. Not touching that game. I I liked this this game that came out on 360 um, in the 360 era. I think it came out on PlayStation 3 too. Um, it was called Murdered Soul Suspect, and you play this murdered detective. And he's like, that game. Yeah, I it was. Played a, it, but it looked cool. It was really neat. Of course, it did, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. Uh, it was. It, it's a. It's a puzzle game, but it's also like a shooter game. But it had a really awesome story. And I, I the only, I only play games for the story. Right. You know, I don't. I don't really do the online thing. You know, I gotta say, I'm. I'm not a huge online gamer. Not a big fan. But we don't really have the internet to do online gaming out here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, Maybe I think we all still remember the uh, the campaign we tried to do over Discord during the quarantine. You sure do. Yeah, <laughs> sure do remember it's that. Unforgettable. Terrible. But but this Ghostwire kind of is reminiscent of that for me. Um, it sounds like L.A. Noir. Nope. Nope. No. no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Are you saying that's a bad game? No, I'm saying that mm, L.A. Noir. L.A. Is Noir is here, and on the other spectrum of gaming is this Tokyo game. <laughs> well, he was saying it was like a detective game. No. Right. But oh, his uh, his old supernatural. Game. Supernatural aspects to it. Though. Oh, um, it looked like Slenderman was holding umbrellas and attacking you. Yeah, basically faceless umbrella wielding. Yeah, um, super weird. These okay, sound like dumb. like I, I three Steam games. Yes, that <laughs> were made by nobody. They look like it. Let's see. Um, Jet the Far Shore. Anybody remember anything about that? I don't, don't know. I, don't remember. Remember. I don't remember that one at all. But I watched the whole thing, so I saw it, so it was not memorable. <laughs> <laughs> the Little Devil Inside. Cute. I remember the, the name of it, but I, I don't remember really what that game looked like. It's a cute action RPG with a cartoony style. Everything was cartoony. It. Cute action RPG. That's a phrase I never thought I would hear. No. Uh, oh wait, yeah. Now I remember the little devil inside it. Kickstarted really and originally slated to come out in 2016. In all honesty, if people do kickstarters for games anymore, they're platformers. I mean, they're platformers Not or they're Citizen. Friday the Thirteenth wasn't a platformer. You're right. You're right. That was and that seemed like a really fun game. I don't Never like got into it. I don't think I could. I don't think don't I could get me on that so much. Right now. I buy lots of Kickstarter, D and D books. Um, okay, Astro's Playroom. That looked like freaking the iToy games on PS2. Astro's those. Playground or whatever. That's exactly what it looked like. Like they're coming out with it. Are they making yeah, an iToy? That was the one that is preloaded on the is PS5. That, that's what I figured you said was going to be preloaded. It, it, it didn't. It, it looks looked, like the iToy games. Yeah. Looked exactly. Bad. Looks real bad. Looks like an iToy game with updated graphics. It just it did not yeah. look that good. Yeah, I know what you're Which, I mean, about. if it comes free on the console, you can't expect it to be some kind oh, of AAA game blockbuster game. Yeah. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, 20, Is that just a remake? That's, That's probably going to be the last game. Oh, and the Gollum game. We talked about that on here. Yeah. yeah. They didn't this show is, Gollum. This is something else different. This I is, wish they would have oh, showed okay. Gollum. I will play and it. It was good games they could have showed, and they didn't. I will play that. The last game on the list that I have here, Pragmata. It's from Capcom. Yeah, 
which Capcom's a good dev. It'll probably be interesting. Creators of Resident Evil. Oh, Capcom always seems corny to me. Uh, Street Fighter. I think of the yeah, that's the what other I think Street of. Fighter. I think of like Capcom old versus games. Street Fighter or something. And that was oh, Marvel versus Capcom or something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Marvel versus Capcom, because yeah, because uh, it looks like something Hideo Kojima would con uh, concoct is what this says, and I kind of remember. Yeah, that sounds like a, a mix this... between a compliment and an insult. He makes weird stuff, but he also makes really good stuff. I felt the same way. I almost felt like that um, Returnal. Returnal, yeah. I felt like that was like some, some sort Kojima of death. Vibes. Yeah, I, I felt like oh, Death Stranding. But no, uh, it wasn't. But anyway. Yeah, Returnal made me think of like a mix between something Kojima would think of mixed with Dead Space. Did anyone mm -hmm. play Death Sta Stranding? I haven't no. yet. I'm going to get it when it comes out on you're gonna PC. You're going to get that game? I'm going to get it on PC mm -hmm. if well, I get it. Of course it. you're going to get a game. <laughs> I might. It's I need not to get really it. Hiking Simulator. Woohoo. Hiking Simulator? I feel like simulator? it's more than it's more than that. <laughs> that's what people are calling it. That's what that's uh, what I critics simulator. are calling it. But what is I'll that have actually? to watch some gameplay before you, I look into it. You're games. delivering mail across the United States. You're, you're delivering packages across the United States. Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. Okay. And it has you Norman have Reedus. A, the you have a little the baby Dead. inside of Norman Reedus or something. And you you, pa you pile a whole bunch of packages on you and you hike. That is kind of what it looks like. Sounds kind of cool. I mean, there's more to it than that in the story. There's a lot to it. I have no and idea. That has to be a story-driven game because it's not Hideo Kojima, <laughs> I mean, he's... Dude is... A visionary. All right. I mean, he's the one who he's the man behind Metal Gear. From not playing yeah. that game, I'm guessing that he is and just Silent too Hill. clever for his own good. Really? I didn't know Kojima was Silent Hill. Like yeah. M. Night Shyamalan is just too clever for his own good. M. Night Shyamalan is a That's disgrace. Why, I can uh, never forgive Shyamalan for the Avatar, the Avatar, last Avatar, Airbender yeah. movie. That's why, Cameron, when Kojima mm -hmm. left Konami, they stopped production on the Silent Hills. Really? And that is why Death Stranding came out, and that's why... Um, Who's the guy? He was uh, Guillermo del Toro. That's why he makes an appearance in Death Stranding. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro was in Death Stranding. That's yeah, cool. so is Conan O'Brien, Jeff. Conan O'Brien? Jeff. The, the who's late the night show guy? host? Yeah, uh huh. Who's the gamer guy? Jeff. Jeff. Jeff what? Bezos. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's, it's spelled G E O F F. He used to have a show on, on Spock TV. Jeff something. I can't remember. He's Bridges. He's, no, he's uh, in it. Um, not the dude, surely. Um, there's uh, Mads Mikkelsen is the is the bad guy in it. Not not ringing any bells. Oh uh, well, a lot of star power in this game. I am hyped for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm hyped for. I, I don't know anything about it. Never played an old Cyberpunk game. Gonna play that game. I just love the like the Cyberpunk genre. I want us to do a uh, Shadowrun game at some point. What's that? It's like D and D, you know, all the fantasy races and stuff, but in a Cyberpunk dystopian future. Hmm. Last thing I heard about Cyberpunk two thousand or twenty seventy seven was uh, you can make your genitalia bigger. Yes, customizable genitalia. That was oh my god. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> that would be yeah. hilarious. I'm sorry, guys. That was not on purpose. Speaking of Keanu Reeves, are they making a new, uh, what is Bill and, Bill and Ted's? Oh, oh, yeah. They're making I Bill and Ted face the music. Are. Is yeah. the name of the movie. I've not seen any of those movies, but I, 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 heard, I saw an ad for it and. Keanu is a rocker dude and like that's a yeah, that's Bill and Ted. And yeah, Bill and Ted really was like funny. one of his first movies. Was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. One thing that I remember about Bill and Ted, the one scene that I remember seeing from one of their movies is they lost Napoleon, yes. Napoleon the Conqueror. Right, that like, was their the, first movie. Right, and they were like they they have this water park in their town, and they were thinking to themselves like, if I were Napoleon. Where would I be right now? And they thought of the water park. <laughs> and here's the water park. It sounds like he, a they stoner go, movie. Here's what they go. They go. Waterloo. That's the name of the water park. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what joke was coming. Oh, that's oh, funny. Lord. <laughs> and then, any other any other things we want to talk I about? I think with that with, with that 
Yeah. Happy ending there. We'll PS5 better there. live up to itself because I'm not impressed. These two are obviously impressed. I'm not. I just expect only because I just want the next console. console. I don't yeah. care. You're just so desperate for. I a just want to play some new games. That's all. If I ever have time. The only thing I really cared about of the entire thing was De- Demon Souls. So yeah. yeah. Demon Souls was definitely like the highlight of what I saw. I want to play the medieval. Game. I cannot, for the love of me, remember the Demon Souls ad. I it was remember. really. It was oh, really the one that would like stick out of all of them, like literally. Think of the one that looks like a Souls like game. Yeah. Don't remember it. I'll no, look it up no, no, no. He's not TV. exposed to it enough. Whenever I first saw it, I was like, dude, this seems like a Souls game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've only played like one Souls game. It, it's it's the father of them all, basically. Yeah, it was the first Souls game. It was like on PS3. Oh. Okay, we're 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 done. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the podcast. Thank y'all for listening. We're the commoners of D D. Thanks for listening to Say It in Common with the Commoners of D&D. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast to make sure you never miss an episode and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Commoners Official for news, updates, and exclusive content. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.